Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I have no idea why I'm losing connection. Well, it's inclement weather. I'm Latasha McDowell, your real estate expert here in Tallahassee, Florida. How are you? So, since we're having bad weather here, so I'm going to try to hurry up and spit it out so you can get the goods um, that you need. So, as you see, my title for today is First Time Home Buyers Course, right? So, on Saturday morning from 11 to 12, I will be hosting a free. Yeah, I don't know what's up with the internet. I'm I'm gonna try to blame it on the weather because it's bad weather here today. But um, on Saturday morning at 11 a.m., I'll be having a free first time home buyers course. So I will be posting the flyer on here on TikTok, on Facebook, on Instagram, and every social media platform that I'm on, where you guys can dial in and join the zoom right um it will be hosted by myself and uh my credit guru so you'll get two for the price of nothing and we'll be teaching you guys about how to get ready to purchase your home in 2022 now let me let you know something when i say it's free it's free normally i charge for my seminars because i do give a lot of information so you know i give a lot of free information here so there in a controlled environment you'll get more information so here's your op it's going to be saturday morning from 11 a.m to 12 a.m 12 p.m eastern standard time where we will be going over the home buying process we will tell you what your credit score needs to be we will tell you what you need to do to get your credit score to where it needs to be we will talk about down payment we'll talk about down payment assistance programs we'll talk about everything the entire home buying process from the ruta to the tuna so if you have been wanting to know how to purchase a home or how to get into a home so you can make sure that you are a homeowner in 2022 here's your opportunity here's your opportunity to get all the information that you need so it will be on saturday morning 11 a.m now it will not be here on tiktok okay so it will be through zoom with that being said if you're wanting to participate I need you to text me your email in Zoom so I can send you the link so you can join. Now, there is going to be a limit capacity. Zoom can only hold so many people on it. So I'm telling you now before I post the information on my other social media pages. So if you're interested or you have a family member that's interested or you have a friend that's interested who may want to join in, you might want to tell them right now. Like now is when you want to tell them, go ahead, send my girl your email address. She's going to send you the invitation link so you can come to the Zoom and participate in the first time home buyers course. Okay, so if you don't know, let me go ahead and type in my phone number for you all um, where you can text me because I have a bunch of y'all emails right now that I'm going to be texting the invite to people who I've talked to in the past about credit repair and things of that nature. That's my phone number. Your account is at risk of. Okay, I keep losing connection. So. There you go. There's my number. You can go ahead and text me. It's going to be a first time homebuyer's course. I, th I think so. I think so. Do you know they had, 
I was in TikTok prison for six days. It's going to usually, although you filed in 2019, it's typically two years after discharge. So it's going to be whatever type of bankruptcy you filed in two years after that discharge. I think, I think, I think TikTok is because I was chastised and I've never been in TikTok prison. I'm like, well, what did I do? Educate people by first time home buying? Is that offense? And it was like, it's a violation of the guidelines. I'm like, what was the violation? Teaching people how to repair their credit? What? Where we do that at? But anywho, that's what had happened. Don't know why, but hey. Don't know what the issue was. But hey. What tips you have for a new real estate agent? So I'm studying for my exam. Um, make sure that you have a mentor who's willing to help you and really willing to help you, not someone who's competing against you. A lot of and when you get with a brokerage, a lot of these brokers are still in the field, meaning they're still selling and you know representing buyers so they're your competition you may want to work with, work with a broker who's not actively in the field but can spend more time teaching and training you um, and you also want to make sure that you establish great relationships with other realtors in your area and outside of your area and you want to have really strong relationships with um, lenders right because a great lender can make or break your business. If you have a lender who's very responsive, who actually take care of your clients with the same level of love and care that you do and professionalism, y'all can go a long way. Having, If you have a lender that you can call morning, noon, and night, I know I do. Well, I guess TikTok must have blocked the number. I have put my number in there. So, um, But here we go. We can circumvent that, Miss Jackie. My number is on every TikTok that I do. Every last one of them. So if you just go to my last TikTok at the end, my number's there. I'll be honest with you. Um, so maybe that's the issue. I'm giving TikTok, I'm giving y'all my phone number, and it's taking you off the app. Because you know, you like to keep people on the app. The longer you're on the app, the more money they make. So maybe that's the issue. Because at the time, of, you know what? You might be right. At the time that they cut me off was right when I had gave my phone number. So maybe that's the issue, me giving my phone number. But I'll also say it's at the end of every TikTok that I do, and my number is in my bio as well. We just solved the problem. Now I know how and why TikTok is not happy with me. Because I'm offering services offline. Thanks for the little tidbit. Anywho, back to if you're wanting to make sure that um, you are successful, having a good lender and having a good rapport with other realtors are really instrumental. Like for me, um, I have a lot of realtors that I work with outside of my network. So when I have clients that are from here on TikTok and they say, well, hey, I'm in Chicago, but you're in Florida. I need someone here in Chicago since you can't come to Chicago. Boom. I have someone that I have a relationship with that I can refer the client to. And vice versa. They may have someone that's in Chicago wanting to move to Florida in my area and boom. I can help that person, right? So establish, and that's, that's a fact for any business, establishing relationships with other businesses and with people who are in the same type of businesses with, with you is critical, right? It, it'll really enhance your business. But, and also it's really important, I think, as a realtor to offer credit restoration services to your clients, meaning that you understand the credit process well enough that you're able to educate your clients so they can be um, in a position to get the best interest and the best rates. You haven't been in a while. Hey, Pooh. Well, what we were originally talking about is on Saturday at 11 a.m. If you're wanting to participate, text me your email. I'm going to be hosting a free, F-R-E-E, -E, free home buyers course. Free. 
Saturday morning at 11. It's going to be done via Zoom. It won't be done um, here on TikTok. It'll be done via Zoom. How do you get a mentor? Um, you, I would say, how can I see my email? How can you send your email? You can text it to me. My link is in the bio. And I also have a contact sheet out there that you can complete. How do you find a mentor? That's a good question. My mentor happened to have already been a realtor and we were friends and she was always killing the game. And it was funny because we had talked about becoming real estate agents and I dragged my feet and then she jumped in and bing, bang, boom. You're welcome, baby. But um, other realtors, they find me and to be their mentor either through social media and my uh, my brokerage actually refer newer agents to me. So I would say maybe talk to someone at your broker at your future brokerage, right? Um, they've sent agents to me that be like, well, gosh, we have a new agent and this is what they're interested in and this is your wheelhouse. Do you mind taking them on? So, or people will call and be like, hey, I talked to so-and-so and they said A, B, C, D, X, Y, Z, right? So that's an option for you as well. But again, I'm going to post a flyer and I'm going to need y'all to check because I noticed this too about TikTok. Whenever I post any information about anything that is not directly related to the app, it doesn't get pushed out as much. So go ahead and put yourselves a reminder on your phone to just check my TikTok within the next 24 hours, right? I've kind of noticed that too. Um, if it's an announcement about something that's not directly related to TikTok, it doesn't get pushed out. So I would say check as well. Someone just texted me. Okay, Robin. I got you, Robin. Robin just texted me. So I will make sure I send you the link. Expect it within the next 24 to 48 hours. But the home bias course, so let me talk about the things that we will be talking about during the home bias course, okay? Of course, we're going to talk about credit because can't get nowhere without that. Um, we'll talk about credit. We'll talk about what funds that you realistically need or don't need. Um, I see y'all Texas. All right, Jackie. Um, what you need or don't need. Uh, a rattler. Now we know. Girl. Okay. Um, so we'll talk about what you need, what you don't need as far as finances. We'll talk about the things that you need to have money for, right? Like your escrow deposits, your down payment, and things of that nature. So we will talk about those things. We'll talk about the different programs. We'll talk about the basic four loan types and what differentiates each one. So it's going to be a really comprehensive, you know, I always tell y'all, bring pen and paper. Bring pen and paper. You know, hopefully, <laughs> you almost missed class. We're talking keys. We're talking about on Saturday at eleven. I'll be hosting a free first time home buyers course. It'll be on Zoom, so you can text me to make sure that you get the link information so you can be there with us. We're gonna. Um, go over credit the different loan types we're going to talk about what monies you actually need to purchase a home of course we're going to go over down payment assistance programs like i would not be me if i didn't and we're going to talk about um, my lender whom approved or has been approving my clients this is an exceptional time to buy a house with these interest rates yes ma'am um so we're also going to talk about my lender right this lender, within the last three, today is Wednesday, so within the last three days, have gotten like five people approved from here. No, four from here, 
yeah, four from here and one that I personally knew, one of my clients already. But you have work? Well, I, I'll record it. No, it won't be state specific. I try not to do anything state specific because, you know, you guys are from all over the country, right? So I try to do things that are universal, but I do tell you how to research things in your state, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, but yeah, the recording will be available and I'll more than likely add it to my link tree where you could possibly download it. So when I say it, it's a free course, it's going to be free, not only that day, but it'll be available as well. Um, so that's your, that's your Christmas present. So don't come ask me for nothing else. Let's be clear. Ho, ho, that. But. Zillow issue won't, won't hinder me. Zillow issue. Which one? Zillow issue. I don't know. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't ask me for nothing else. What you mean, Zillow? Like. I don't think I understand your question. I mean, you can always call me to clarify, too. Because, yeah. The next thing I'm about to do when I end this live is get up and go find me something to eat in the office. Because I'm starving. But, um, yeah. So, that's that. And y'all already know. Come with your pen and paper. Um, I don't know. I might be feeling really super holly jolly-ish and actually give away the PowerPoint presentation. I don't know. Let me let me talk. Let me talk to Jesus and see what he lay on my heart. Cause y'all be doing the most. But there we go. You're welcome, babies. Um, you know, I do anything for y'all. I do anything. So if y'all have, before I go and get me something to eat, any questions, comments, queries, excuse me, oh, some good news that happened to somebody else besides my other people, you been on YouTube, sorry, you didn't want to lose your money, what you doing with Zillow? Oh, no, you're fine. I still do my lives on YouTube, too. I just try not to repeat the same thing over and over. So people who are here might catch one thing that the people on YouTube not. But also, I'm going to go on YouTube and post my information. Um, oh, you just wanted my book? Thank you, baby. Um, you're welcome. Child, ain't going to be no housing crash. Ain't no housing crash. Houses are expected to go up last year. When I, well, this year, 8%. They're, they're projected to go up 13% next year. What well, housing crash? The only thing that else is going to be going up besides the price of houses is not only the price of houses, but the price of the real, the real estate, too, and the interest. So, you're great. You have me feeling real positive about buying a home. Because you're buying a home, Michelle. What you mean? You're getting, you're getting a house. What? You're confused. You 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 buying a house, baby? So you should feel positive. If y'all want to do anything, look, have a little extra eggnog with a shot in it, cause it's about to be your last Christmas in that dang old rental. Okay. Just got the zoom information. Yes, I will be your realtor in Florida. Yes, I take clients out of state. I'm telling y'all, y'all better have an extra little shot in that eggnog. Because, sweetie beaties, <laughs> this is the last Christmas you spend in there. <laughs> okay. I know you're supposed to be excited about the new year, but when you celebrate New Year, celebrate it as it being the last year there. (laughs) 
No lies told in the making of this story. Natalie, Alabama too. Alabama right up the street. You know I'm in Don't Florida. I'm right up the street. Like this is the last this is the last Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely worth buying a home. Not only no I want y'all to also realize the financial implications here, right? Think about all those people who owned property that when the housing market went up. You're in Dallas? I'll be in Dallas January, I want to say 6th. Um, so think about all those people who had property that even just brought property, right? And the housing craze hit. Right, and the the in, the equity skyrocketed because there was such a flood of a demand of people who wanted to purchase a home. Think about how much the houses were. Think about how many people was out there that refinanced. Got you're fine, baby. That refinanced, right? Got not only a lower interest rate, but was able to pull out cash from their house because of the equity. So like I have uh well she was a buyer now she's moved over from my real estate side to my property management side. Right, you say witness. So this is what she did. She was in her home, right? When she bought the home, she bought the home as a foreclosure when she bought the home. So she's in a home she had been in the home for 10 years. She took the equity out of that home. And this is what she did, right? So she took the equity out. She refinanced, got a lower interest rate. So which means her payment each month was going to be lower, right? So she, and she also took money out of the equity. Not only did she take the money out of the equity to repair that home, that's why she's now on the other side of the fence for me, right? And she's gone from being an active buyer, seller to now, on this side and she's now moved from one company that I own to the next company that I own. So now we're repairing the home that she lived in. She's now living in the townhouse that she bought with the money, some of the money that she used for her down payment to purchase the town home. So she has the single family home, three bedroom, two bath that she had been having for 10 years. Now she's purchased a town home, which is a three bedroom, two and a half bath, right? So now she has these two properties. She used the money from when she refied, right? So we're repairing. Actually, we completed today the full restoration. We had the walkthrough this evening of the 10-year single-family home, right? We went in. Um, my crew, they did everything from the root to the tutor. She's going to Airbnb the single-family home, right? The plan is for her to stay in her new home, the town home, for about eight months, and then she's going to do, this is pretty much what she's doing, is the bird method, right? She's going to refi it again. She's going to refi this one after they built up some equity and purchase another home and move to that one and rent the town home out. Now, so she has gone from being a, buy, a, a buyer so now she's on my property management side. We've restored her home and we're going to manage the Airbnb. Then she's going to buy a gang, rent out that house. So we'll be managing the we'll be managing the rental and the Airbnb for her. And she's going to go back to the sales side. Well, the buying side because she's going to be buying a gang. And this is the plan that we're going to just keep doing, keep doing, keep doing as she's collecting more doors. Because what she didn't know, what she didn't know me 10 years ago, but what she didn't know 10 years ago was that she could have purchased four units at one time as a first time home buyer. The agent that she had at the time did not educate her on that. So she couldn't take advantage of that. So now this is the method we're using, which is called the Burr method to get as many properties as she can. Right? Now, another thing that is on the table that we're contemplating for her, rather than possibly Airbnb being it out, the home that she's in now that we just finished everything on today, 
I suggested to her, rather than doing Airbnb and hoping someone books it, is that right now in Tallahassee, we have two housing crises, right? The first housing crisis is because we have a shortage of homes on the market, which that's across the U.S., but we have a, two major universities here, right? And we have where our public housing has torn down a lot of the buildings, right? So where are those people going? So uh, her and I, we had a meeting yesterday where I was telling her she may want to contemplate renting and even renting to Section 8. Here, the laws have changed for when you're renting to Section 8. If you violate your Section 8 here, you'll lose it for life. So we don't really have that issue of people who are on Section 8 um, not keeping up their home, not keeping up their property and things of that nature. Because if they do, then they'll lose their benefits for life. So we were talking about that. I was telling her, you can get guaranteed a couple of Ks a month um, with that route versus Airbnb and you Airbnb and possibly Airbnb a few times a month, maybe. Um, we're in Tallahassee. We don't have like major stuff that happens here. Um, if it's outside the football season, it's kind of like watching paint dry. Where her house is, it's too far from the center of town so she wouldn't get those people who are here for legislative purposes. So I was telling her it may be better for her to go ahead and rent it now and get the cash now. But I'll keep y'all posted on that story and how it goes. Question about Social Security. What is the question? Now, if the question is about Social Security, if you can purchase a home with Social Security disability, my answer is absolutely yes. If the question is about detailed information because you know I'm a non-attorney rep, we'd have to do that offline. So what's your question? But, um, and for those of you who do not know, I worked for Social Security for 100,000 years processing Social Security disability claims. So that's another white hat that I, I used to wear. I took it off in April. But, yeah. So, but what's your question, honey? So, as she's typing her questions, the reminder... My dad makes over three thousand pounds. I'm there denying my mom. What can she do? See, that's the social security question. So we'll have to. You would have to schedule an appointment, honey bun. And you mean, if you're saying that they're denying your mom any social security disabilities, then am I denying your mom? That's an offline question. So go ahead and schedule an appointment, and I can explain to you possibly what's happening and what you can do to remedy the situation. You want to learn real estate? Well, damn boy, 15. Oh, really weird. Saying your handle. Keller Williams is offering free classes that you can take via Kaplan University that if you text me, I can send you the link for it. How can I can tell you about the increase in the FHA limits? Was, was there a particular part that you're wanting to know about the increase in the FHA limits? Like, would you qualify? You're welcome, baby. Like, would you qualify? If you go to um, HUD.gov, I have to think of the website, HUD, H-U-D.gov, click on, hover over. In fact, let's make this a learning moment. I'm going to pull it up for you. Hold on, let me pull it up. Move the good old ring light out the way. And we'll make this a teachable moment. How about that? Okay. We're going to flip the screen, all right? So, I'm on HUD.gov. You're welcome, baby. 
And good afternoon. Hey, Miss Alfonso. How are you? Today is Wednesday. We haven't talked. I was starting to think something was wrong with you. Guess you're good. I'll probably check in with you tomorrow. So we're on HUD.gov. Okay. So this is where I want you to go. Well, let me start get a little closer for you on what we do. Right. When you go to what we do, we're going to back out again. You see where it says housing? We're going to click here. Click somewhere. Click on buying a home. Once you click on buying a home, you're going to see this lovely little family, right? And you're going to go right here where it says, sorry, right here where it says shop for a loan, right? This is literally everything that you will need to know about FHA. Literally everything. Everything you want to know. Everything. I can Right? Literally everything. So, and here's another thing. This is why I tell you guys. See here? Home buying programs in your state. What about tenants, baby? Oh, I'm leaning on the thing and it's pressing around. Home buying programs in your state. Do y'all see that? So, click here. Pick your state. Pick your state. Pick your state. Right? Click your state. We're just going to go over to old Georgia. Oh, it's HUD, H U D, dot gov. You're going to click on what we do, and it's going to bring it out here. If you're moving to another state, the only thing, Grace, is you may not qualify for the uh, down payment assistance programs in those states because you have not established re residency there. So you'll learn about different links of home ownerships in those states, right? So let's go back, back again. So, people often ask me about programs that are nationwide. Here's one. Good Neighbor Next Door. Indian Home Loan Guarantee Program. First of all, the fact that it's called Indian, um, I'm going to need them to make that say Native Americans, but we're not here for that argument. So... Which is better, FHA or NACA? I'm going to say NACA because it's zero down. NACA is the one that saves you the most money. But as far as program, FHA is one program type. And NACA is a conventional loan. So the question is really what's better, FHA versus conventional? Um, with the NACA program, it is zero down payment, zero closing costs. With FHA, you're going to have to put 3.5% down. Now... NACA has a lot more stringent criteria to meet um, as far as the home will have to meet itself in comparison to FHA. Remember, there's four basic loan types. Everything else is a program that's built on top of those four basic loan types. But here's another thing. Let's go right here. When, let me say this. When I tell y'all to go to websites, it's because I really do want you to go to websites and explore. It's inhumanly possible for me to tell you every single thing that's out there, but I can tell you every resource that I use, right? Fixer Upper Home Improvement. They offer rehab, right? And these, the rehab, as I've taught you guys before, is the FHA 203K loan. Oftentimes people ask me, who are the lenders that actually work with these types of loans? Well, put in your any lender that you want to know about. 
Put it in there. The loan type, 203K, which is the rehab. There you go. Search a little hard away. Get your search on. I didn't notice I didn't put no lender name in, but I did just click FHA 203K. I didn't even put a state in. Here's a list of lenders. So, there we go, right? So if you want to know about the increase, the increase was universal with the product, the FHA product, but your state, thank you, baby, your city and state is going to have some specific things. Floor closure, do I think it's a good idea? Yeah, but be prepared for the investment, right? Because typically if a person lost their home because they couldn't afford it, that also means that they couldn't afford to keep it up. But let me teach you something else, though, since this one turned into a class session. So let's say you want to repair a home or let's say you have a business you haven't filed taxes that's between you and jesus as to why you haven't filed taxes but let's say you're using your business credit and all you have is statements hey laid back could you find a lender tosh do you know a lender out there that can help me even though I have the money and I can show the income by the deposits that's made in my account, but I haven't filed taxes, right? What if you're a person who does hair or something of that nature? And what if you fall in that criteria for whatever reason, um, what have you? I'm, the reason why I'm stalling is because I'm looking for my email about it. So give me a sec. Um, is there a lender out there who can handle that? I'm new here. Thank you for the awesome information. You're welcome, baby. Um, I have to do this so I can see. Because my shirt's rather busy and all the words is white. It comes off white. So. If you're like, hey, Tosh, do you know of a lender who can help me? I'm Tasha. Of course I do. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. We're going to do a screen flip again. Oh, someone's asking a question. See, that's what I mean. I'm on the tube hearing different things. Well, sweetheart, this part that I'm doing right now, I'm actually going to do it for my YouTube channel. I'm actually going to do a video, but the class is Saturday at 11. But keep in mind, the things that I know and the things that I know I've researched, um, because that's who my daddy made me be, and the things that I share is because of my connections, right? I'm in both places. Oh, no, the, the class, you're going to have to text me to get the link. It's going to be on Zoom. Because then once I have your email address, I can also send you the PowerPoint that goes along with it. So, um, here we go. Now, y'all are really getting a preview of information that I have not put out there. Like, I literally had this meeting today. So, this lender that I work with says we can, find, we can qualify clients with W-2s only, FHA, conventional, VA, and first-time home buyers options available. Right? They can do that. Know what else they can do? But wait, there's more. Oh, girl, I don't know what time that is in California, because y'all are on different time. 
Girl, I don't know. But send me your email, and when I send you back the link, it'll, um, that's fun. Come on, lay back. Give me a chance to scroll and answer some questions. I got you. I got you. So, hold on. Hold on. I got you. So, um, once you send me a link with your email, then I'll send back the appointment notification, and they'll have the ad- the time change automatically on that. I don't. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I do not know. So, okay. Let me see. They have so many. Wait, I'm reading lay back. They have so many. How about I just go through them all? Okay, we'll just go through them all. This is called the bank statement loan. Up to a ninety percent loan to value limit, meaning you put down ten percent of the cost. Credit score starting at six hundred. Two years seasoning after foreclosure, meaning after you've had your foreclosure, you can't apply until two years. After your foreclosure, two years after your bankruptcy, two years after deed in lieu of. No who? No tax return required. Loans up to three million. Two years being self-employed. Did that answer your question? Where it says ten ninety nine option available? Am I Santa Claus or is Chris Kringle Santa Claus? Who's your Santa baby? Who's your Santa baby? Who's your Santa baby? Text me. You have to send to me in your email. Send me your email so I can send it to you. babies come on now you don't know i'm coming through in 22 22 i'm coming through when i said i wanted a hundred people to be helped in the first quarter oh i meant that with my heart i'm coming through in the i'm So you on SSDI and your husband works. That means that he has stable income and you have stable income. And your score is 600. I know that do well. You saw that TikTok where I said minimum score is 580. You was there? Did you miss it? Go watch that TikTok again. She made tips. Did you see me flip? Did you see me? Come through. When I told y'all, you're looking for a construction loan. <laughs> y'all, you, 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 were you trying me? But I think, I feel like in my spirit, you was trying to me. You think we don't do construction? <laughs> we even do foreign national loans. We do jumbo loans. Let me let me let me show you something. If you want to have a jumbo loan that goes up to three hundred, I mean it goes up to three million. Jumbo is starting off at five hundred k and above. Okay, minimum credit score is six eighty. They allow a flexible and expandable debt-to-income ratio, which means there isn't a solid number. It's depending upon your situation. Up to percent, 90% financing, which means you have to only come up with 10% of, for your down payment. This can be done on your primary or secondary residence. So if you are a snowbird, meaning people who live up north and want to spend your winters down south and here in Florida 
but you want to come and you want to have a retreat hell three million you want to buy an island out here we can finance it for those of us who talk about some your phone is jacked up i didn't know if you answered my question i probably did I either I probably did or if I missed it it was because I had the screen flipped so I'm going to go with that I don't I don't know I, I don't know let's just schedule an appointment I don't, I don't know I'm going to be honest with you and say I don't know I had the screen flipped so honestly I don't know do I know of any lenders y'all know what I'm going to let me go and put the link in the bio I'm going to put the link in the bio I'm hungry right now. It's 3 o'clock. I haven't eaten. But I'm putting the link in the bio. And when I do it, I, I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to go live and tell you. So y'all can apply with the lender. But look here. When I told y'all yesterday. Was it yesterday? Or may, may have been Sunday. In fact, it was Sunday night. I told y'all. Sunday night. That in the first quarter. My goal is to have 100 people approved and in their home. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. So the only thing is, which number are you going to be in the 100? Because I'm giving you every possible way to be on the list. Then I got it's about to be lunch. And it's going to be the first thing I can find. I meant what I said. I can't make this statement to you without giving you a path for you to actually achieve it. Yeah, I help people in Georgia. I was trying to figure out how I can get the IKEA in Atlanta this weekend. But it looked like everybody got plans for my weekend. So I'm like, I'm making the IKEA this weekend. I like to just go around and I key and touch stuff. I'm a little special. How do you schedule an appointment? You can click the link in my bio. I'm telling y'all. I told y'all what my plan was. Me and the Lord, or well, the Lord and I, we sat down and I talked to him. And I told him what was on my heart. And you're in High Point. I have somebody looking for a house right now in High Point. Sorry. No, the hundred's not filled yet. The hundred, I'm not going to start adding to the hundred until January 1. Right? But I told God what I wanted to do to help his people. Because I fully know my job is to be in service. Any help with credit? Yes, I do help with credit. I have a credit organization, which we are looking for additional agents right now. So, I know what I'm supposed to do, right? I just need you to do what you're supposed to do. I just need you to follow my lead. That's all. Follow my lead. I'm not asking you to do much. You don't know where to start? Well, you're going to start by texting me your phone, your email address. So on Saturday, you can attend the first time home buyers course for free. That's what you're going to do. That's going to be your first start. That's where you start. You're going to be on the Zoom. Or you're just jumping in live. But I want to be a part. Tracy, go to the link in my bio. There's a contact um, page. Send me your email. Your name and your phone number. I'll email you the link to join the Zoom on Saturday. It's going to be 11 a.m. And you guys are going to get the steps from credit 
in the whole process of home buying. We're going to have the information about the lender and everything. Right? And I want y'all to know this too. I come to y'all first before I go to my other audiences on social media. Expand to how what? I want y'all to know this too. I come to y'all first before I go to my other audiences on social media. Expand to how what? You sent me a ticket to Hawaii. I bet you I'm going to be on the first thing smoking. Oh, Keisha, you just booked an appointment. We talking tomorrow? We talking tomorrow? Tomorrow the night? Today not the night, dude. Yeah, tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> like, wait, we talking tomorrow? Guess what? And I will hold up my end of the bargain on the trust. Because all I have is my word. Everything else about me is material. If you strip all the material from me, as the word says, all I have left is my word. And I can only stand on my word. My word is my bond. And I promise you, if I can't help you, I will find you someone who can. All right. Yes, you will need to look. Oh, no. I got your email. I got, no. Sasha, I got your email. You know, I got your info. Did you get my text? Or did I send you an email? Okay, did you get my communication? Hey, Angela. Uh, hey, too sweet. Look at my family. Oh, now y'all want to say, oh, I'm here. I'm here. When is the free home buying class you just joined? It's going to be on Saturday morning at 11 a.m. So, you're going to need to email me. So, that way... I can send you the link so you can join. You was in a meeting? Oh, okay. Girl, get your done. Don't mess. No, no. We're not starting this today. Y'all talking about something. Y'all sneaking, watching TikTok while y'all at work. Look, I work for myself. Don't, don't lose your job because you need that income to buy a house. Y'all can catch me later. I'll come back on at 830. Yeah. Yeah, you can, honey. Yeah, key. You right. Because y'all not implicating me in this, okay? You're in Missouri? I've been in Missouri. Hello, Darlene. Darlene. Darlene, where you been? Let me tell you something, Darlene. Last week I had an appointment with a lady named Darlene, and you could not tell me that it wasn't it wasn't you. Girl, Londa was sitting there poised and waiting to talk. You've been going through it. You need to come to class. Well, you know my number. Text me your information. All right, y'all. I'm about to get a hunger headache. Darlene. Darlene, call me, um, let me see. Just text me your number, Darlene, and, um, me and Londa will call you. We'll either call you either today or tomorrow. Because she asked me about you. You have one of what? A hunger headache? All right, y'all. I gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. But yeah, text me your number because your friend was asking about you. I requested the info for the free online class. You never received it. Which, wait. Now, Delisha, I text everybody back that. Hold on now. You text me? Text me again right now. I'm gonna send it right now. My number is 850. 2126097 The fact that I oh no I see a bunch of texts I got just now. But text me um correct um real, realtor so I know that I need to send you that. 
the fact that I'm learning how to trade stocks by a house to folks job. Don't mess a game. Y'all, don't be doing that while y'all on people's job. Delisha, I swear, I just did a search for your name. Hey, Kamisha. Text me. And my office wants to sign the door saying, do not disturb. Y'all know what? Y'all play too much. Y'all play too much. Y'all play too much. You knew. I'm on the 813s. Tasha, please send me. Yes, my phone number eight five zero two one two six zero nine seven. All right, y'all. How long does it take for your rent to own or reflect your credit report? Anything that you add to your credit report, it usually takes about thirty days to update. Um, most creditors update every thirty days. Hey, April. Oh, it's you the 813. Okay. It's about 30 days. Give it about 30 days for it to update. Because most creditors only update their credit profiles once a month. I have a real extra text in me, too. Oh. Like, it's funny, yeah. It's like, that should be just a reaction, require my reaction. So I can see who y'all text me and I can see who y'all are. And I'm like, oh, I can put face to the face. All right, y'all. So y'all have a good one. I'll see y'all again at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See y'all at 8.30. Remember, the link is in my bio for how to reach me. Um, it has my email. You can even go to my website and send me an email, right? If you didn't catch my phone number, you can click the link in my bio and you can send an email to my website. All right. See you later, loves. See you later, Pooh. All right, babes. Y'all have a good one. What's the OMG? When will you get the email? Um, probably sometime today, but it's going to surely be after I eat. I need to call my other clients back. So that's been calling and texting me while I was talking to y'all. You like this shirt, Darlene? You know, this is one of my least favorite shirts I have in the